Hey, how's everybody doing, man? Welcome to Talking Shit. And today we got a Reddit response that we're going to break down and do real quick. So let me go ahead and, oh, before we jump in, what's good, Manny? Hey, what's good, man? <laughs> so I'll go ahead and cue that up. We'll get started. So give me one second. All right, man. If you go ahead and read that. Okay. <clears throat> I made the mistake of asking my wife. Maximize this. Yeah. I made the mistake of asking my wife for an open marriage and I regret it. I feel like a complete idiot here. My wife and I have been married for 19 years. We have one child. Our daughter moved out this summer after she enlisted in the armed forces. I love my wife, but I felt like the spark was gone from our lives. <clears throat> I did not want to divorce her. So I proposed an open marriage. She was upset initially, but eventually she agreed. Like I said in the title of my post, I made a mistake. I have learned that just because I was not as attracted to my wife as I was when I got married, it does not mean other men would feel the same. My wife has so many men and dates, she does not know what to do with them all. <laughs> Meanwhile, it is the opposite for me. Not only that, but after my wife agreed to an open marriage, I asked a woman who was a colleague of mine out on a date. I was a manager at my job, but I was not her manager. We worked in completely different divisions and our work had nothing to do with each other's jobs. But even though I was not her manager and I'm in an open marriage, she complained to her manager and showed HR my messages. I lost my job. Mm. <laughs> I told my wife, I want to close our marriage again because I was an idiot for suggesting it in the first place. She said, no, she is happy with how things are. It is killing me when I know she is with other men. My brother called me a moron when I told him and said, expecting my wife to look like she did when she got married made me a dunce. He even went as far as to say she takes good care of herself and is in great shape for 44 she just does not look 22 or she does not look 20. He had the nerve to say my wife looks better than me and I could stand to lose some weight. I love my wife and I do not want a divorce. I never wanted a divorce, which is why I proposed this in the first place. But she's she does not want to close the marriage. I am not worried about money because we are both because we both work, but I do not want a divorce. I'm just glad my daughter enlisted in the armed forces and is not here to see our marriage falling apart. Damn. All right, man. So, yeah, that's, that's what's tough. Your, what's your, what's your take? What do you think my man uh, should do with this situation? Uh, buddy's definitely an idiot. Um, <laughs> let's, 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 let's get that. <laughs> let's get that out the way and get that addressed first. Um, for him not to assess the lay of the land and like recognize how his wife looks in comparison to other women, her age, uh, versus how he looks, um, you know, he, he definitely took an L on that one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, uh, what he failed to realize is that, you know, he failed to realize the thirstiness of, of men, like, you offer a man an opportunity to just sleep with an attractive woman and have to have no commitment with her because she's already married and stuff like that. There's a lot of guys that will just literally be single and just take that deal or, you know, step out on their relationships to take that deal. There's a lot of dirt bags out there. Um, but like the key element is that, you know, they get to screw his wife without, you know, having to do, you know, the husband responsibilities. So, um, I don't know. what lining up on that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They like tag me in, tag me in, brother. Like, so I mean, they're older too. So I think she's his wife is probably coming out there. Hey, I'm married. I'm happy in my marriage, but I just we have an open marriage. So you know, if you're interested, and dudes are just lining up for that. So like high fiving each other as they're like leaving. <laughs> That's what I imagine. And uh, this dude is definitely a dirtbag um, just off the rip that like he tried to open up this marriage and his first target was a co-worker um, that he thought he was flirting with and thought she was flirting back. Like, 
that's unacceptable, man. He he's married, and if he didn't want to divorce his wife, you know, he should never even, you know, cross those cross those uh, lines. You know, he he was already on the border of cheating anyway. He just wanted, uh, yeah, he just wanted um, not permission, but uh, validation that he's not doing anything wrong. And uh, I mean, you reap what you sow. The common saying. So I'll just I'll just end it at there. What you got nah, on it? No, nah, you definitely got a good take. Yeah, because first of all, man, th- just just dumb. My man lacked awareness because <laughs> for you to not to know where you kind of stand in things, you know, it is it, definitely dangerous territory. So like 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 you said, he just doesn't understand like females got a way bigger market. So I think he was <laughs> thinking, hey, I'm gonna jump out here and they're gonna be lining up, you know, and it was vice versa. You know, his wife had a everybody kind of lining up. Cause like you said, it's just like, man, shit, they get to do their thing and s- send her back to you to pay the bills, man. Like <laughs> side, side dudes. That's a, that's a great little gig, man. So they like shit. Hey, yeah. Hey, tell, tell John, I said, hi, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell him to take you out to dinner. You know, you, you did great tonight. So, you know, hell yeah. They gonna, like you said, them thirsty ass dudes, they gonna line up for that shit. Then, you know, like you said, doing it at your job, you know, that, that's just, man, you don't play with your money. So loud. in his mind, he pretty much has stuff, I think, in his thoughts situated. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you said, he just wanted that, like, justification why he wanted to cheat. So it's like, hey, let's open it up. And he probably thought she was going to have a terrible time doing it or wouldn't kind of commit to it. So it's like, OK, if I do this, like you said, it's, it's not really cheating because I had that talks with her and all that. But, you mm-hmm. know, now that it's one sided, he's like, mm, man, I want to close this off because, uh. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't get no love out here on this market. So she she's out here having a great time. Now she's like, Mm-mm. you know, I'm 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 staying put. Like th- this is great. Yeah. So yeah, you know, she's to you know her bit of you know like just come to her uh, not rescue, but uh, she probably didn't really like him either because yeah, it seemed like she kind of jumped out there fast. So it seems like when their daughter like left, it was like, hey, it's fair game. We raised our kids, so let's let's. <laughs> okay cool you propose this idea I'm, I'm jumping out there so yeah, yeah just this is it. why man you you can't have it all man no nope. I mean, people be letting their desires jump out there this is like man you better fully assess that that's why i think it's important man it's like man you need to have a dude that has some game around you that could like break this up like hey dog you a little out of shape you're not gonna really be pulling nothing like that you- <laughs> hey, man. hey man it sounds like he had his brother right there because his brother called him a moron and told him that expect his wife and then you know his brother even threw it like, hey, your 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 wife is in great shape for forty four. Like, well, he told bro, him afterwards, been... but it sounded yeah. like his brother. It didn't sound like his brother was like, uh, he, like his brother's like, shit, I might pull up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> his brother was like, yeah, he's in I, great shape. I might take an bro. offer and shit because hey, she she kind of bad. That's what, yeah. That's how I was getting with the brother and stuff. Yeah, he was like, hey, and she looks better than you. Yeah, you need like, to hey, lose some weight, shit. dude. You probably need to leave you. That cat got me on the yeah. phone like. Hey, yeah, yeah, my brother ain't shit. If you ever need somebody to console in, please hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me have a round. <laughs> so, do you you think it's a it's a it's a wrap? Oh, uh, this relationship no, are no, nah, no, nah, it's not a wrap if he can stomach it. But I mean, this is mm. his own doing. This is his own doing. I wouldn't recommend it. I, I wouldn't be able to stomach it. But then again, I would never uh, propose a situation like this just because you know I don't. I wouldn't be okay with, you know, my woman getting dusted off. <laughs> it just opens you up to like all types of wild stuff, like STDs primarily. So, um, you know, you got something good, you know, you, uh, you protect it. And he, he recognized he has something good. Cause he's like, I do not want to divorce her. Like, okay, well, if you don't want to divorce her and you can't chase your desires, you know, you got to either, I mean, you can't have everything. Like, I think you you said it. You wrapped it up really well. So that's all I got to say on it. Yeah, de- de- definitely, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my man overset the boundaries. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do it either. I know some dudes be pushing for that shit. I'm like, man, you must not really like that person. If you you could just sit there, shorty, go out there, get pounded out, and then come home, yeah. and y'all, what y'all watching a movie together? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, damn that. The love, like, the love of your life getting bent down and broken down so yeah yeah, that's not a good uh that's not a good image to have especially when she comes back from that 
Like she walks in the door. Hey, I had such a great time. Like yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired. I'm, yeah, I'm sore. Like <laughs> yeah. Like I'm just gonna you go lay down. Funny. I'm tired and shit. Like hell no. Nah. Like man. Yeah. You over here paying paying some bills and shit. Like nah. Yeah. You don't even go down that path. I'm with you on that. Just yeah. the the last thing. Like man, you know how disrespectful men are too. You know, like a lot of dudes just. They gotta talk shit. You know how it is with men. So you know, oh, like yeah. them dudes that's probably dusting it off too. Like that took that arrangement with her. That's like one <laughs> since she got it. It sounds like she got a team built up now. So yeah, and, you know, they going yeah, back to their friends, like, oh yeah, man, her husband ain't handling shit. So you know, yeah, you know, me and her got this ID. <laughs> he gets to pay all the bills and stuff, and I just slide through. And so you uh, know, man, people are having those type of conversations. So man, it, it, it's also that level of disrespect that come in the background because you man, you know, but a lot of dudes just can't keep their mouth shut. So that's what I'm saying. He's got to deal with that whole like other element in the background. Like, <laughs> so yeah, my man's just taking a major L on this. But it do sound yeah. like he is mentally beating him up. So I think eventually he's he's gonna be like, hey, we need to shut this shit down. So I, I think it is gonna end eventually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think she's going it, back. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, she's not. She's not going back. I mean, it's possible she could go back because I mean, she did have that experience. But you know, if it's a favorable deal for her, I don't see her pulling back, especially when she didn't initiate it. He did, and yeah. like for him to be like, "Yeah, this is a colleague of mine. I asked her out on a date." Like this dude lacks complete awareness. Like. Uh, he's lucky to have, you know, got a wife early in life because this dude would be lost out here if he thinks he can just walk up on a coworker and oh she's in a complete different division than mine and this and that and like yeah do you know her sir or you just you've seen her in passing and then you're like oh man she's so gorgeous and I want to go on a date with like hey bro you can't just do that like you can be nice to her and cordial but you know crossing those lines that makes it awkward at the job like mm -hmm. i'm sure she has a lot of dudes making her feel awkward you know somebody at her level or maybe even higher than her that's definitely a hr violation <laughs> yeah so he said he said uh she showed hr my messages that's <laughs> plural he acted oh, like yeah. he walked up to her and asked her hey <laughs> you know i've seen you around and stuff like that i don't I don't mean to be, you know, rude or anything like that, but I, um, I'd like to take you out on a date or like get to know you a little bit better. Like, no. So he figured out a way to get her number and he might've did it on some work shit and then messaged the fuck out of her to where she felt uncomfortable because I don't think most women sit around and be like, Oh, this guy sent me a message and I told him, no, I'm not interested. And you know, I'm going to go to HR now. I don't think that's, you know, their initial yeah. reaction. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt she, that she's just a normal woman, of course. Uh, <laughs> but like messages, you know, she probably told him, no, I'm not interested. And he's probably trying to, oh, maybe I can convince her. Because, you know, some dudes just feel like they can convince anybody. Yeah, no, I, mean, I agree. Because like you said, yeah, it does say messages and my man lost a job. So he he's looking less and less appealing, even to the wife. Like, damn, now you lost your job because you're a stupid ass. Like, you yeah, first yeah. proposed this, now you lost your job. Like, yeah, you on the outs. You know, yeah. so yeah, he definitely, he ain't looking too great out here. But yeah. Yeah, this was a crazy one, man. I had to get your take on this. I was like, man, damn. <laughs> People really yeah. do dumb shit out here. Yeah, oh, and just yeah. one last thing I wanted to touch because I like what you said earlier. Where it was like, think about it for from a female's perspective, it's a much better sell than to go to a female like, "Hey, man, I'm married and I, you know, I want to open, I got an open relationship." You know, I, most women probably wouldn't grasp at that, but like dudes, it's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm cool with that." <laughs> so, so yeah, what are you so saying? Just, you just you just want me to smash? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah I can, okay, I can, yeah. I can accept that. Mm -hmm. it can be used. So yeah, I was just thinking about that deal, like the messaging behind it. When you go out to people, like yeah, women for the most part gonna be like, mm, "I'm good," you know. <laughs> that sounds a little too complicated, but yeah, guys, are like, oh yeah, no, nah, that's right. Yeah, I just got like you said, I'm, I'm a side dude. Nope, no, no, no dating and kick it off cash like that. Like, no I, yeah, so I, like you said, they could be high five and like Shh, tag me and shit. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you said Tuesdays, yeah. right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I got Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said he gonna lock it in. Lock me in for Thursday. 
<laughs> but oh, all right, we'll go ahead. He, or, oh, I think he, he didn't put his uh, what state he lives in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude's gonna be lining up. up bro- you see the brother. The brother's like, look, man, she bad. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Low key. Yeah, like, his brother was sizing her up. He's like, look, shit. Oh, she's, she's open. Forty four. <laughs> She's in great shape, my guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he he threw the visuals at him. He was like, "Hey, man, she's banging." And you said it's open now, still. <laughs> yeah. My man gonna be like, Rrr. "Like, yeah, I, I always hated my brother. You know, we're half, right?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, we'll go ahead and close this out. All right, y'all, keep tuning in, keep sending this stuff. All right, peace.